Well, it's Jack and Sandy here again at um, Kansas City, Missouri, downtown, where all the businesses are. And we got Pastor Belder is here, and Jack and Chip and myself. So this is how they do street corner preaching. As you can see, you got all the businesses around. We pick a corner, we give out tracks, the guys preach. And it's right at lunchtime. So. Well folks, just a little friendly reminder, one day you're gonna die. Some of you might be dead by tomorrow morning. So I got plenty of time, for sure I'm only in my 20s. Plenty of people in their 20s die. Plenty of kids, six, seven, as pathetic as that is. Some of them meet some pervert who cuts their throat or something wait, like that. Wait. It's a shame that unrighteousness and ungodliness has flourished and pro proliferated in this nation. A nation that was founded upon the living words of the living God. Now we got perverts walking the street. You can't leave your car unlocked. You can't leave your children undone. You got to protect them every moment of the day. What a sick society. What a sick, perverted world we live in. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. In the book of Revelation, that last book in the Bible that tells you how everything is going to turn out. If it wasn't for the book of Revelation, you wouldn't know about a lot of things. But in Revelation chapter 20, it said, I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened. And the dead were judged out of those things written in the books according to their works. Oh my God! And so we go at lunchtime. Was so we have a nice crowd. It's in a little thin now, but was cast it's about into one o'clock also. Fire. So we came at my noon. My God, and people, had don't of people die and go to hell. You don't have to go to hell. The rich man in hell cried out, and he said, "I'm tormented in these flames." Hell is not a place of sinful merriment. Hell is not a place where they got an unending supply of sex and beer and drugs. No, my friend, hell, you've been lied to about hell. Hell is a place of torment. Don't go there. Hell is a place of punishment. Who rejected God's Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Just like you're rejecting Him today. Jack just has Why this little belly preacher. But the Shows good thing is all the these buildings, that it echoes off right all these buildings. That oh, light that's a big one. depends upon you where you go. It rides right Death on those is buildings. A door. The sound rides Job, right Job, over in the Old the Testament, street. said, have you seen the doors of the shadow of death? Death is a door. Don't be you know, echoing off of everything. Yes, if you're saved. But if you're undone without Jesus Christ, if you've never received Christ as your Savior, you have every reason to be afraid. The Bible said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the Bible said fear Him. The problem is in America, we have lost our fear of God. People curse God. They say, God damn. People curse His Son. They say, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. They say all manner of evil, wicked things about God. But one day, if you're not saved, you're going to wake up in the lake of fire. And no amount of lighting candles 
is going to get you out of that imaginary place that you're telling your church is purgatory. No purgatory in the Bible. It's heaven or hell, depending on what you do with Jesus. Come on, come on, get with it. Anyway, there's another sample of street ministry for men and women and children. God save the homeless man. Save the homeless man. You're not good. You're wicked. You're ungodly. You're unacceptable before the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. The blood of Jesus Christ.